Hey everybody, in this video we're going to be taking a quick look at the new two-headed turtle talisman in Shadow of the Erd Tree. This is the new upgraded version of the original green turtle talisman which was found in the base game of Elden Ring and helps with your stamina recovery speed. So first we will go through the location of this item which is found in this cave here uh, and then we'll get into some testing so you can see the actual impact of using this talisman. So first starting off with the location of this item, uh, this is where it's located on the map. Depending on which sites of grace you have active, you can get here fairly easily, so I'll quickly cover it from that perspective. However, if you are new or just starting out and don't have much of the map uh, complete yet, I'll also show that path as well. So as mentioned, there are a couple sites of grace nearby. Uh, if you've kind of been in this area before, maybe just overlook this area. The closest one would be this river mouth cave. So that takes you pretty much right next to it. So as you, as you exit this cave and just hang a left, that is going to take you to the waterfall where it's hidden behind essentially. So uh, here is the waterfall and if you just head right in that's going to take us back to where we were in that cave. So uh, this will be where you walk in. There's going to be some of these glowy worm things uh, and then this is going to be where the actual item itself can be picked up. Another quick option if you have the Temple Town Ruin side of Grace Basically, just a straight run uh, to this cliffside, and then if you can see these on the map, that's, those are platforms that will take you down to that same area. So from this side of Grace, you just basically head straight that direction. And then once you get to the cliffside, uh, if you look down here, uh, let's see, there they are. So here are the platforms. So again, you can see those highlighted on the map there. Uh, and basically, just you're going to have to make your way down, uh, which is uh, quite a ways but just kind of follow the platforms down. And then once you reach the bottom, so you can see those are all the platforms that we just got down, uh, basically takes you right next to the waterfall and then you can just go right in and grab the item. And then finally, if you're just starting out and you wanna get this item or you don't have those sites of grace, I'll go through kind of the, the main path to get there, if you will. Uh, so there's nothing stopping you uh, in the way of getting there. You can get there right at the beginning of the game. Basically, uh, this is where you start. You can walk here, cross the bridge, and now I'm at the castle front side of Grace. Basically, we're going to go down here, uh, go through some caves and stuff, and then we'll end up in the river, and then we'll make our way back there. So I'll just kind of demonstrate that full path, uh, sort of editing it a little bit to first speed. But uh, starting off, we'll go through, and you're going to want to make your way down um, to this lower area here. Once you get to this fork, you can either go right or left. You want to go left to go either for, even further down. Eventually, you'll come to the uh, swamp area. And again, just kind of make your way through here. And we're going to veer to the left up here in a little bit. All right, so here we'll drop down. Uh, this is where we take that left turn. And we'll continue down a little bit further. Uh, there's going to be a cave that we're going to go into here in a little bit. All right, so now we are at the very bottom here, uh, and this is where we're going to find that cave. So we'll go through here, and then this will lead into a pathway up here. So we'll go up here, and then this will eventually lead into that river area. So as we make our th way through here, there is also a site of grace coming up that you can grab on the right. That's, uh, nope, next one, I think. There it is, so you can grab that side of grace if you don't have it. Uh, and then here we come out into the river, and then we're going to uh, basically just make our way all the way down the river. So here we are on the map, we're gonna just make our way all the way down to the end there. All right, so now about 20 seconds later of running, if you just kind of blow through everything, uh, you'll eventually get back to this waterfall. Uh, and then from here, it, again, similarly, you can just walk in and you'll find the item uh, on the rocks next to our little turtle friend here. All right, so now that we have the item, we can go over what it actually does, which as mentioned, helps with your stamina recovery speed. So I'll do a little bit of testing here so you can see the impact of having this equipped, uh, maybe help you decide if this is something you think is worth using one of your talisman slots for. So basically I'll deplete my stamina fully uh, and then without a talisman, watch and see how long it takes my stamina to refill. Uh, do that with the green turtle talisman and then also with the two headed turtle talisman. And then we can kind of compare all three scenarios uh, and see what the differences are.
All right, so that is how the test ended up. Uh, and honestly, a little bit surprised and disappointed by the results. Um, so I tried to get everything lined up for a fair comparison as best I could. There may be a little bit of variance there, but when you're comparing the two talisman types, uh, it just doesn't look like there's really that big of an impact there. So uh, they, may, <laughs> they may be using the term greatly, a little bit loosely here in the description, saying that the two-headed version greatly raises stamina recovery speed as opposed to just raises stamina recovery speed on the base version. Um, Certainly there is an impact there as opposed to not having the talisman equipped at all, but uh, sort of looking at the times and how that ended up, this one reduces recovery speed time by 15%, uh, and this one reduces it by 18%. So uh, I really don't think you're going to notice a diff huge difference whether you have this one equipped or this one equipped. Certainly it does make an impact, again, if you just don't have it equipped at all. But uh, after doing this, uh, kind of turned <laughs> personally kind of turned off by using the talisman, and I'm not really interested in using it anymore. Uh, and honestly, if I was looking for something stamina related, I might just go this route where I, it just raises your maximum stamina as opposed to the recovery speed. Um, so uh, anyways, yeah, so that is how that all sort of ended up. Uh, hopefully this video was helpful for you. Uh, maybe helps you decide as well if this is something that you want to use in one of your talisman spots. Uh, let me know if you have different opinions or what you thought uh, and whether you think this is worth it or not. Um, so anyways, I'll leave it at that. Uh, thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one.